What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins Channel. My subject today is we got some lonely people out here that are strangers, you know, that's, that's not in your life. The reason why I'm making this video for those of you that see the same thing in your city and state. Let's get started. Now, I've been reluctant to make a video like this because, you know, I thought I, I, I was hoping I was wrong. But I've noticed over a period of days, weeks, months, years, that it has forced me to make this video. It doesn't matter where I go. I can go to the coffee shop, the store, the restaurant, um, bike ride, driving a car, waiting at the bus stop, in line the checkout line, self-serve checkout line, or in the line where the cashier process your stuff and have the bag and bag it up for you. And I notice people want to cling on to you. I'm talking complete strangers. Complete. And I ain't gonna lie, it's extremely annoying to me because I'm always busy. My whole life is planned for the next hundred years plus. So I have no time, just like the late Prince said in his song, Uptown. What's up, pretty girl? Ain't got time to play. But you know what's sad? I really don't mind women being clingy, you know, even if they're not my type or some of them get on my damn nerves, you know, because you could be fine. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, the guys, guys, guys. And I was like, I, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm a loner. I'm glad I'm an introvert. I don't really care to like being around a bunch of people, especially crowds. You know, because most people, they be real messed up in the head. or They, they just, their personality just get on my nerves instantly. But I noticed the pattern. And I was like, I would never want to be like that. Where I'm so lonely that I'm willing to be disrespectful, rude, imposing on another human being's life or their boundaries. Because I'm lonely. And it's sickening because usually... Uh, I notice it's a pattern with those kind of people. And they're like, first, they just totally ignore that you're busy, you know, which is extremely rude and very disrespectful. See, that red flag for me, whoosh, okay, we got a psychopath or a sociopath or a narcissist that's in my midst. And usually I learned how to handle those kind of people. No eye contact, no conversation. If they sit in my area, I wait a few minutes. I get up and leave and go sit somewhere else. It happened about three minutes before I did this video. It happened yesterday, the day before that, 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 the day before that. And I'm not being comical about it, viewers. I'm just being honest. You know, let me know that you experience the same thing. Like I said, um, most of the time I'm, I'm extremely busy. You know, um, I get bored easily. So I always have to have a whole bunch of different things going on at one time just to make sure I do not get bored. And the general public, uh, the workforce, and the homeless, they bore me instantly. Because usually it's the same old thing, the woe is me story. I'm just like, just hanging on. Well, things will get better. No, I don't like hearing no bullshit like that. You know, I believe in making my own success. And I'm a go-getter. So, strangers, people that are homeless, uh, the general public, very annoying to me. You know, because they're pitiful. And uh, they try to cling on to you. Because you, you give off, I guess, I'm trying to learn. Apparently, uh, I must give off some kind of energy that I got it. You know. And um, it's very annoying. It really is. Because... I did security for 25 years, so I'm an expert on body language. I can read a person whether they're trying to hide anything from me. 
because I've done all kinds of security. I've done security for the federal government. I went dealing with money, 20, 20 million dollars. Okay. If you don't believe me, do a background check on me. You see it. I did uh, security for military base, military equipment. So uh they trained us very well. They did. So you can read a person that's of the general club. You can read a person that's of the workforce and the person that's homeless. It's in their conversation or it's in their body language. You know, usually the dead giveaway is coming around your area and hanging around. So first thing I look at is how big the area is. What other areas could they sit at instead of coming over here in my area? That's the dead giveaway. And then on top of it, then, you, like I said, you got uh, brothers is gay on the download. Yep. That's another uh, strike against them. You know, and it's annoying. It really is, because this is a complete stranger behaving like they're going to be in your life whether you want them or not. And I'm like, see, that's how people, that's how you hear stuff on the news, finding body with decapitated or shot once in the middle of the, uh, of the skull or stabbed over 89 times. It's sad. You know, I'm not going to do things like that. But you read about people that do. You know, I'm more so um, I can watch a person and pretty much size them up. And I'm out. You know, I ain't no no violent stuff. Or not even cussing them out because they have view the cuss out as attention. Well, maybe if I see them again, I can try that again and get more attention and then present, you know, where I'm coming from. I don't even give them the chance. No eye contact. I don't talk to him straight up, ignore him, and I'm gone. You know, and it's really sad. It's only going to get worse because you have a lot of, um, well, you got a lot of cuts coming out. Like, for instance, uh, call them simps. A lot of simps are living with these uh, young, horse, single mother, mothers. They got all these different babies by me, and they living off them through Section 8, food stamps, and welfare. Okay, all that's going to be eliminated permanently. So, you got the Simpsons that's going to be trying to impose. It happens a lot out here in Michigan. I can't speak for where you all are at. Maybe it's not like that in your city and state. If it is, please let me know because I want to know. Thank you. I appreciate it. But here in Midwest, oh, oh boy. <laughs> You know, and I'm like, I don't want to hear it because I came from the hood. So I could spot a person from the hood miles away in appearance, conversation, word usage. You know, a lot of ones that's from the hood pride themselves on using the latest so-called slang. Well, I'm about to creep over here and get me a hot dog. Well, I'm about to go do a drive-by at McDonald's and get me something to eat. Trying to act hard, got the hat all tilted, all hard, bent to the side. I'm like, see you, you city fight. It means you don't have any money and you won't be getting any in this lifetime. But uh, yeah, it's really embarrassing that this is happening. It's it's downright annoying. Really. I'm just like, it's sad how you read about pe people found dead. Mm -hmm. Imposing their way into strangers' lives they don't know anything about because they're going on appearance. I don't mean anything. I don't look like I make the videos that I make. Till you watch my channel, you be ooh, and then you read my comments. What I say to people when they try to go out for me, be ooh, ooh, you didn't have to say that about his mama. Oh well, that's what you get for crossing the line without using intelligent and good judgment, and not doing their homework and doing their research on me before they decide to speak on it. And I'm saying that to say this with these strangers trying to impose themselves in people's lives that are taking a stand in life and facing life head on. You know, we're living in a change of a lot of things going on. This uh, universal change that we have never seen before. So I don't got time for no, no guy hate around me, especially uh, in an annoying way. Like I said, if a woman do it, I know, you know, women, they're emotional, you know. They're going to get on your nerves most of the time on purpose. I don't agree with it, but she's a woman and we can have some fun in the bedroom. So depending on uh, what level she comes with, you know, I might look into it. I might. But a guy ain't nothing happening. Ain't nothing that a guy can do for me. So, uh, fellas, I want to hear your opinions on this. You know, I'm curious. I appreciate the feedback you all have been giving me so far on the variety of videos I've been making. Please, by all means, state 
what you see and what you're experiencing in your city and state concerning this topic that I made on. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Don't you go anywhere. Oh, subscribe. Donate. Support the channel.